se sakurate yaseni to start the Good morning everybody. Today is Monday and it is really cold this morning. I just went outside to see because it looks really pretty. It's freezing. I also was just wearing my bathrobe. Paul's still sleeping so I haven't gotten dressed yet. But today I have a couple things so I figured that I'd film them. I have a head of cauliflower in my fridge that I need to use up. I haven't made any baby led weenie recipes for Paul in a while so I think I'm going to do that today. And I was scrolling Pinterest and I found one that was cauliflower tater tots. No, cauliflower nuggets. And it totally looked like something I would eat anyway. So. I'm gonna make some of those, whatever he doesn't eat, I'll freeze, and then I can reheat those in my new air fryer, which I did use this weekend. We had wings, and then one of the mornings we made bacon in it, and it was awesome, I'm so excited. The only downside is, it's huge. I think, hindsight, I probably could have gotten the five quart, but it was 50% off. The five quart was $49. This is from Target. And I ended up getting the seven quart, which is massive. And that was still 50% off. I think it was $69.99, so $70. I started watching The Crown last night. Oh my God, I didn't even make it through the first episode, but I won't say anything that happens, but I just freaking love that show. I cannot wait for Paul to go to sleep, to take his nap so I can keep watching it. So I have that to look forward to the next couple days. And also, because I told you it's freaking freezing, I got those flannel sheets from my Target haul in the washer. I didn't turn it on last night because my washer's a little weird and the drum gets all wonky with sheets sometimes. So I'm gonna start that now and put those on tonight. I'm so excited. And it's 7.30 and Paul's still sleeping. Okay, so I was just not feeling the tater tots, this, not tater tots, the cauliflower nuggets this morning. I'll do it this afternoon. I just didn't feel like doing it this morning. I was being lazy, but I do have some minutes till my sheets are done. I think it's about 20 minutes. And my dining room has just become like the clutter central place. I do have to say, if we ever get another house to move out of here, I don't necessarily want a dining room. Honestly, we hardly ever use it. It just becomes a room to store stuff. So I'd much rather like an open concept area. But anyway, I am going to be using this zone system for cleaning. I don't know who actually came up with it. I found it from She's in Her Apron, Kimmy does it, where you basically spend five, 10 minutes in a room, you set a timer, you clean, like clutter clean or whatever for five to 10 minutes and you stop. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know if it's the Fly Lady system. That's another one everybody talks about. But I'll leave a link to Kimmy's um, YouTube channel below because I really like her. She does like homemaker stuff, cleaning, cooking, all that good stuff. So. I'm going to just clutter clean this room really fast. Just to show you how much we actually do use this room, these are Easter candles. <laughs> little Easter egg candles. I used to get all these like decorative candles and I would keep them and I really want to just burn them up. I had a couple Christmas ones last year that I burned up and I intended to burn these for Easter and never did. So they're sitting there. My timer just went off, but I made huge progress. I am just going to clean the wood in here and clean the windows really, really fast. So Kimmy's method was five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do another five minutes. the biggest bed bug 
you've ever seen. But he's cute. <laughs> so, in order to keep him happy, life is a game. So we're gonna try to make the bed while Bug is on the bed, right? Oh, great, yeah. Mmm, drool. Also, in case you were wondering, this right here is a waterproof breastfeeding baby mat thing. I don't bring him into bed as much as I used to. He sleeps wonderfully overnight. But in the event he's sick or doesn't feel well, usually when he gets shots, I br just bring him into bed with me and that's a protective little mat that goes over where I'm breastfeeding or if he spits up, just protects my mattress. That's all that is. <laughs> Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Okay, so it is now lunchtime and I'm getting ready to make these roasted cauliflower nuggets for Mr. Paul, right? He's right here eating lunch. <laughs> to summarize the recipe, it's a head of garlic Oh my god, a head of garlic A head of cauliflower roasted with garlic cloves, paprika you roast that till it's soft and del develops flavor as it's roasted. Then you're going to puree it in your food processor with some grated cheese, cheddar cheese, and what it says, soft breadcrumbs, an egg, and some chives. I don't have the chives. I'm assuming soft breadcrumbs is like, like you take just regular sandwich bread and put it in the food processor and make breadcrumbs so they're not dry. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to use the breadcrumbs from the pantry, so I'm going to have to eyeball it because this says three cups of soft breadcrumbs, and I know I don't need three cups of dry breadcrumbs. I'm gonna guess probably half a cup to a cup, somewhere around there. Yeah, I think these are gonna be Paul's lunch tomorrow because he's having leftover zucchini zoodles and meatballs for lunch. And tonight, the beef freezer meals I made a few weeks ago, I'll link that video below. We're having the beef enchiladas as I think what Matt wanted today. He also wanted rice with it. I'm gonna see when he gets home if I can con him into having cauliflower rice just i'm not making it i actually have found it in the freezer and we need to use that up because i moved we're having freezer meals all this week i moved had to move everything around in the freezer to allow our thanksgiving turkeys that came from butcher box to fit so i have the week off of cooking and i'm just reheating which is pretty nice so i figured i'd take that cooking energy to do baby led weaning meals so we're doing the cauliflower nuggets today and i'm gonna grade a ton of cheese as you're gonna see with my food processor because i found another recipe for babies where it's butternut squash mac and cheese and i've read a lot of people eat this as adults too so i'm going to try that one as well so i'm assuming i'll need cheese for that but i'm i have this massive block from bj's that i'm just going to like super shred with my food processor so here we go
look at your face. Did you have a good lunch, huh? <coughs> you done? Oh my. Mommy needs to clean you up, huh? Yeah, okay. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. They my troubles to rest. Blow smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. She stresses the importance of refrigerating this, so I will do it. So I'm going to put it in this container. Um, oh my god, there is a fly in here driving me nuts. Paul just did a big yawn. Oh my god, there are two flies in here. Mo, you need to get on fly duty. Okay, so, I mean, like, this is already so thick. I'm just going to dump it and get the blade out in a second. So my plan of attack is to just leave this in the fridge and then probably at dinner time because I think I'm going to cook these and then freeze them cooked and then when I need them for I'll freeze some keep some in the refrigerator and then freeze some and then Paul will have these <laughs> for lunch I know you're sleepy bug okay in the refrigerator this goes oh my god I am making such a mess and then I'm going to clean up all I have to say if you're following the recipe, she says, refrigerate for at least a few hours until completely chilled. So whatever a few hours means to you, it's three o'clock now. Paul is really sleepy, so we're gonna put him down for a nap and we're probably gonna do this around supper time. So my idea of cauliflower rice, the boss. So I just made some white rice in the Instant Pot. I have the cauliflower tater tot, not tater tot, why do I call these tater tots? Chicken nugget things. There's no chicken on these. The cauliflower nuggets, I have that ready to go. It still is really soft and it's been like three hours. So we're just gonna try it and see what happens. And I'm also going to put in the oven the beef enchiladas from the beef freezer meal video that I did. So these are 375 for 20 minutes. And I think that's actually what it says 15 minutes. So we're gonna try that and see how they are. So if you're wondering why my pan looks so disgusting, it's the same pan from the roasted cauliflower. Roasted cauliflower. I'm not gonna wash this again. It was just vegetables. So I'm gonna put the little chicken things on here and I'm going to use a little scoop to try to portion it out. And I think I need wet hands because this looks really sticky. We're gonna see how this goes.